It is Ryan Cameron on Center, the Queens of R&B tour, Escape at SWV, featuring 702 Total and Maya. It's happening July 16th. Then they go to D.C. July 19th, Virginia Beach July 21st. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com. And we have two of the members of Escape in the building. One time. Yeah. One time. Mm, All right. Tiny you. and Sweet Sweet Candy. Sweet <laughs> Sweet Candy. How y'all doing? You crack me up every time you say that. Y'all been all right? Yeah, we've been we've good. We've been good. So, you know, first of all, let's just talk, before we get to y'all, let's talk about the kids. The, they I good. Mean, you know, Eris is out there singing, <laughs> taking over the stage. Yeah. You know, Riley's out there graduating, taking over the stage. I'm How y'all feel? You. Do y'all feel older now knowing that y'all, you know, families is is doing their thing? First um, time, tell me how you feel about Eris. I mean, I feel great. I I'm, I'm love watching her, like, evolve and just really get in her element she loves it she loves to sing so like um i'm just trying to artist development you know getting her in that in that mode of just mm-hmm. really working are like, you gonna put her in a group because no. you've done that before you don't want to no, do that no she more she ain't gonna be in a group but yeah. i mean i ain't gonna say she's not but right now she's just solo dolo yeah she don't need nobody she's a show of her own although her and bam bam are really cute together mom i do like them together yeah. Yeah, how you feel about your, your about your, she ain't no baby now. Oh, which one? You know, I got multiple. I'm talking about the, the by Riley. Riley. Yeah, Riley, Riley, she's doing great. She um she graduated NYU. Yes, nice. Riley. Yeah, yeah. and now Stand she's up. actually filming on her own show now. What what kind of show is she doing? It's on a reality show. I can't say what it is yet, but yeah. <laughs> Do y'all find yourselves like, oh, listen, back in 96, let me tell you how I did it. Like, have, do y'all find yourselves like putting your, your own experiences on them or you just going to let them and then be like, eh, I wouldn't, you know, try. I to- mean, Riley is totally different than I am. But I mean, at the same time, I'm just like, you know, obviously I want her to still boss up. Right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, no matter what you do, you got to stand on your own two feet. You mm-hmm. got to figure this life out. You know? Yeah. So when uh, y'all put this tour together, you know, because I, I talked to some members of, of SWV, they was they were in rehearsals all week. They couldn't break away. Mm. They was taking it that serious. That's you know? how we supposed to be, but <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. what you saying, Tiny? That's how we supposed to be, but our people don't care. You know what I'm saying? They gonna work us. Then, then. Go do that. Go do that. Go do that. Can to fly here? You do this and that, and then we still trying to rehearse. So yeah. it, y'all, how much rehearsal have y'all done? But y'all should have it now, now, right? I mean, so here's the thing: it's a new, it's Uh-oh. a brand new show. Yeah, and because we some of the songs we have done, but we're adding beats and and different things, so all the elements are different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we got new choreography to learn, and yeah. that's the most the the song singing the songs cool we pretty much got that down. Right. But it's just if we want to put on a great show, and as we do, we you know. We take that serious, so we want to mm-hmm. have our steps together, and we're learning all these new moves and things, but we are in and out of rehearsal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so. Okay. Well, we got more when we come back. The Queens of R&B Tour, Escape and SWV. It's Ryan Kevin on Center. <laughs> oh, Candid nice. Tiny here from Escape. How What's long it? y'all been doing this? Ooh, Man, child, 30 you years. Tell I ah! No, because I remember. I, I always remember when you know when y'all when I was doing nights when y'all first came into the studio with mm-hmm. the gear that y'all had on. You know, most people thought y'all was rappers. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, and when we first came out, we definitely was giving more of a around the way baggy pants with the yeah. bandanas. With the bandanas, and, yeah. yeah, that was our thing at the time. Yeah. I mean, our first album came out in '93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do y'all feel like you know? What have you learned? I mean, because Candy, you branched out in, in all the things that you've done with your entrepreneur stuff. I mean, you get bag after bag after bag and, and mm-hmm. tiny with your stuff. You, 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 y'all you be chasing the bags and, and getting the bags. Mm-hmm. What would be your advice to somebody who, if it was an escape in 2024, what would the advice be? If y'all say, you know, watch out for this or make sure you do this. Mm. Well, mine would be first learn the business, learn about, sure. like, you know, and, 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 you know, don't let somebody, cause you know, I think one of our, our mistakes that we made back in the day was we was just told to be an artist and let us do everything else. Mm, And so we did, you know what I'm saying? But really we was, you know, everything, things was happening up under our nose and we didn't know Mm. because we're just letting them do their job thinking that they got it. They got us. And you know, nobody really going to take care of you like you, 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't trust everybody in the business. The business is just a crooked business all the way around. So you got to learn what's going on. I think I think you should just like dive into knowing what you're getting yourself into. Right. Know more about the business than just the show part. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And then I think, you know, you really need to know that you got to get out there and really be working your record, you know, um, to stop thinking that you just sit at home and, and that it's just going to blow up on its own, mm-hmm. you know, or that everybody on your team is going to do it for you. You got to, yeah. you know, get out there and make things happen on your own, too. Kat, as you have stepped away from, you know, what you've done, how long were you on the Housewives? How many seasons? 14. 14 wow. seasons. As you sit back and watch all the <laughs> stuff unfold now, do you be like, see? See, <laughs> maniacal that, laugh, that, maniacal why, laugh. That's why, <laughs> because I mean the the drama, and now they're saying that the producers might have been involved. Mm-hmm. Now that you're away from it, how do you feel about the, the the stuff that's been happening lately, especially with Candy? I mean, not with Candy, with um, with Kenya. Uh, oh, with Kenya. Okay, Kenya, my girl. Like I don't, I mean, I don't like how they put Kenya on suspension, and you know that's just how I feel. I mean, I personally. So, I mean, obviously, I was not there, but I just look at it like this. This is a reality show. If people have done things in their past, you already know when you come on this reality show, sometimes people going to bring it back up, mm-hmm. especially if you shade them. They going to come back and shade you and you don't get to determine how hardcore that shade going to be. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's how I look at it. And I just feel like they kind of changing the rules now, which, you know, I'm not saying what that. What do you mean? Meaning... You know, during the time I was there, people was doing all kind of foul stuff to each other. Mm. And, you know, nobody was really saying nothing then. Right. You know, and from my understanding, these are things that she was able to pull from the Internet that was already out there. You know what I mean? So it's just like if it was already out there, it's kind of like she didn't make it up. Right. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I just feel like. Um, we all know Kenya can go hard sometimes, but you know, she always wanted to tell you, well, you started with me first, so right. <laughs> you already don't know what you can do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I just hate that, um, you know, this whole little suspension thing, because I'm like, okay, well, where in the rule book did y'all say if you go, you know, if people's like, feelings get hurt, yeah. or you went too far, and then, you know, because it's not like they got to show, whatever it is that she showed in the little party, it never has to be seen on TV. They have the option to edit it out. So what are we really talking about? Hmm. I mean, to bring up if the girl, I don't know if she has, if she did have any type of, um, you know, intimate videos out. I mean, if I was her, I'd be like, you know what, shit, I'm married. My Mm. wholeness was deleted. Mm. Like, Mm. what about you? Like, that's where she should have went with it. You know, like, Mm. live your best life. I just, I'm just, I'm a firm believer. Like, if you've done something, you just stand on it and be like, and what? Because that's, then what they're going to say. What are they going to say now? Yeah, what are they going to say? We got more. We come back. It's Ryan Kevin Uncensored. We are back with Tiny and Candy of Escape, and we're talking reality shows. And Tiny, would you go back on a reality show? Um, You know, I had I had an easy run with reality reality <laughs> shows. It wasn't. Mine was mostly with my family, you yeah. know, with Toya. We had the Titan Tonight. It was. I had a good time doing my shows because I was with people that I really love. Truly, um, you know, we we have genuine love for each other. Right. So it wasn't like a bashing thing. It was more like, you know, just life lessons and. You positive, know, positive family thing. fun. Yeah, you TV. didn't get. You weren't a victim of the editing. Yeah, no, no, no. We had we had control over on our side. I I'm gonna be honest. I didn't look at a lot of the stuff, but they mm-hmm. would send it to us like a week before, or maybe four or five days, and say, "Hey, you anything? Everything good?" And if you didn't like something, you say, "I don't, I don't like this. I don't like that. Take that out." Right. Yeah, yeah, we like, ain't okay, had cool. that on our show. No, and still don't. <laughs> right. And I mean, one of the things I found was pretty interesting. Candy was like. They say on reality TV that you don't get the residuals. You know what I'm saying? Your, yeah, your stuff keeps yeah. can running forever, and they can still make money off of it. I mean, even our, our spinoffs, they they replay that wedding special for all the time. Like, and do you sit back and go like, man? No, I feel like the you know 
the the reality stuff was beneficial. I, I was it able to build. Purpose. Yeah, it served its purpose. I I feel like I have a lot of fans from the Bravo family that I mean, really support Bravo me. For God's yeah, sake. like people really support us the long way. You know, when you're a part of the Bravo atmosphere, or whatever, what they like call it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, but the Bravo sphere. The, the Bravo sphere. Yeah, like so. You know, I appreciate. It is for what it was. You got to understand what you're getting yourself into it when you did. But I I made the most of my outside opportunities. Yeah. You definitely. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, okay, reality TV is what it is. But now I'm going to get my other bag over here. Yeah. And we're going to make it all make sense. Yeah. So, Tiny, going to reality. Mm-hmm. True or false? Do you believe in this world of Beyonce's internet that your son made standing on business the most popular term. He did. I he, have not heard he, it. Yes. Like, <laughs> when you, I do believe that because here's the thing. I'm not saying he made it up, but he, by him saying it, it made it had the world saying up. People all in, in it's in, in commercials. Sport. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's a hashtag. Me, you mm-hmm. know, so I think that people don't want to give my baby his credit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but. We ain't going for that. We know that. We know we did that. My son has a way of going viral at any moment. And I don't know what it is, but King <laughs> can go viral just like that. It's like, snap, I, I want to go viral today. I'm not saying that's what he do. Right. But I'm just saying he, just a lot of everything that he does just pretty much go viral. So he just, he has that little thing. But, uh, you know, and they love to hate my son, but it's cool. He's a good guy. We got more with Escape when we come back. Ryan Kevin Uncensored, Tiny and Candy in the building. We standing on business. We definitely standing on business. All, all, day, business. all day. So uh, with your daughter going into a reality show, and I know you can't talk about it, but don't, are you in that mode of, all right, listen, here's how dirty it can get. Are you ready? Here's what you <laughs> should and shouldn't do. We um we went over it a million times, all the reasons why she shouldn't do it, and mm-hmm. she sit, still decided that she was going to do it anyway. It, yeah, you know, and and so I'm just like, okay, you know what? Whatever you choose, to, if you if this is what you choose to do, I'm still going to support you. So I'm just like, but don't be on there looking like you just ain't got nothing to do than to hang around with these people. Like, right. you know what I mean? Don't have me out here looking crazy. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, with reality TV, if you're being yourself, they're going to find a way to make you look crazy. Mm, but I'm just like, at the same time, you know, you got to show people other sides of yourselves. Even if you say something crazy, you got to show the other side. You handling business. You giving back to the community. Yeah. Show all the other great things that you do so they know you're not just one thing. Yeah. You know? With this tour, I mean, the Queens of R&B, Maya, Total 702, SWV, and you guys. How How is it with uh, that many women on tour? <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> well, you seem like a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we were kind of a little surprised that, you know, we were able to mend our relationship uh, like we have. And so, um, we who, and, who was the most difficult? Who did you think was going to be hard to mend the relationship with? The SWV people? Oh, well, because we, we don't have no problem with nobody else. It was. It was <laughs> well, because y'all been on the road together no, before, right? We had the reality show together, right, yeah. and it, and in that process, things went left, and we did right. not talk for an entire year. Oh, oh, it's all thing about who's going to close and who's going. It was a oh, whole that, lot, yeah. you know. Oh, so was, who's closing uh, on the show? I it, mean, we take turns, really. Take turns. So y'all so, worked it out. Yeah, okay. it, and it's like... <laughs> what was that? Why you was that? I mean, we did. We worked it out, you know? We worked it out. We worked through all the things that we had. I didn't mean to roll my eyes, because really, we worked it out. You know, everything that we had an issue with, we worked through it. We talked about it, and everything's been really good. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The relationship, the the camaraderie, everybody's been having great spirits. So did y'all, did y'all sit down and just take all the management and everybody all everybody the out the room. Okay, yes, that's sir. the best yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had to do For that. Sure. Yeah. Um, and we had that conversation. We had the heart to heart and um, we were able to get everything off our chest. Right. You know, and after that, everything was good. How was I, that with, with your own group though? You know, even the mm, discord that's going on. We haven't all sat down and got everything off Why our not? chest, I guess. <laughs> Um, I, I think that it, I, I don't know. People change I their mean, numbers again. Well, well don't we don't have, have we don't have oh. the new numbers. Yeah. But yeah. it's, it's okay. I think, I think more so than anything, as far as our group, if anything, uh, Tamika and Tasha, they need to 
to their they thing first. first. It's, it's a sister thing. And yeah. then whatever comes from that, then we can fall in from there and have our thing. But as of right now, you know, um, things are great. You know, we, we're happy as a group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're having a good time right now. We're having yeah. a, a, a peaceful, great, fun time. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more break with the skate when we come back. Oh, so we only do it as long as this thing is on? Yeah, because yeah. it's, 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 see, we don't just be talking. I see. We organize in this room. Okay. Right. I see. <laughs> it is Ryan Cameron Uncensored, Candy and Tiny from Escape in the building. Your role on the shy. Yes, Rosalind. Yeah. Mm. And on Reasonable One Doubt. Time. So, you know, what? talk about, you know, your brand's now you're doing stage stuff, you producing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about those two things that you got coming up. So I really, it's, it's, it's been my dream to really be taken seriously as an actress. Right. You know, and that was like my goal for this year. Like I was going to do more projects. So I was already a part of this, this, this shy. Right. So it comes dope. on every Friday. So dope. Um, I hope y'all are watching. And now I'm a part of season two of the show, Reasonable Doubt. It's on Hulu. Mm-hmm. And that show is so good. And I'm so excited that this role, Ebony. Right. I play um, a woman who's a recovering addict. So people are going to get to really see me. You get to branch out. Yeah, go into some depth. Range. It's, it's going to be some real range in yeah. this role, and I'm excited for people to get a chance to see that. And, um, you know, I'm always producing stuff. We, pro- we produce The Wiz, which is on Broadway now. It's going to be on Broadway all the way through August, and I'm doing my tour with my group members. And I'm excited about that. So mm-hmm. I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm trying to make she happen. She always doing something. She, she slash. Slash, slash this, slash that. <laughs> Candy slash. But with all the slashes, yeah. what what do y'all do just to chill? Like, y'all work and y'all just keeping it popping. Keep it bag after bag after bag. But there's a, she there's pop a time. Up on vacation. They pop up on vacation all the time. Where? Yeah. 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 I mean, honestly, I can't wait till this tour is done to be able to vacation. Because yeah. I had a weekend, but I need a real vacation. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm tired. I do too. <laughs> mm. My birthday's coming up, and I'm gonna be working on my birthday, so that's already a downer. But my also my anniversary's coming up, and I'm taking off. On my anniversary. How many years? How many years is it gonna it's be? It's gonna be 14 years. Nice. Right. One time. One time. How are you taking off? Oh, I'm taking off. We're off. They, oh, we off that day. Oh, okay. Okay. anniversary round. Okay. 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 To August the second, we're off. Well, we come back on the second. You see what she see just how did, she right? Rerunning us. She's still see on business. She's still on business. Still on business. We saw it live. <laughs> this year, this year, this is my 14th year. I'm my birthday is on the 14th, right? That's my day. So in my mind, I was like, you know, back in 2020, I was like, two, 10 years, I was, like, we're gonna have a new wedding, right? But it was COVID, so. I came up with this idea. So, you know, like, my birthday is on the 14th. Let's do uh, a wedding on the 14th year, mm-hmm. right? And then mm-hmm. if we make it to 25 years, we'll do one because that's his, <laughs> <laughs> that's his birthday. You I know? like the planning. I like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so, and, and the, the funny story is I, like it. I, I think I was still, like, at y'all's wedding, right? <laughs> I got in so much trouble Uh-oh. because, Uh-oh. And, and this is funny, right? Because I went to the bathroom. When they came into the little church part, it was like, hey, don't nobody take no pictures. Right? I was oh. in the bathroom. <laughs> no, so, right. No, this is a true story. When when they got off the horse and carriage, I took a picture. And I posted it. Oh, not Lord. knowing that it was off limits. And I'll never forget. Tip, t- he texted me. He was like, this tip, call me. <laughs> and as soon as I just, I, I started the conversation, I was like, I fucked up, man. He was like, he said, man, we had so many pictures of this Messed book. up by bad. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> I didn't know. So I'm, I'm glad to see that we got past that. Yes. 14 sure. years in. Yep. You know, hopefully y'all are making it 25. That's right. You say. <laughs> but you're going to have a, uh, are you going to have a, a big blowout? You're going to go somewhere tropical? What's, what's your plan for, it's your birthday and your anniversary. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully my husband has something planned because it's, I'm going to leave it up to him because I'm working. I'm too busy to do anything. Oh, oh, oh. So, handle it, baby. Hey! <laughs> handle it, baby. She's standing on business. <laughs> the Queens of our media tour, uh, Escape and SWV, 702 Total Maya, mm-hmm. July 16th. Then July 19th, they go to D.C. July 21st, they in Virginia Beach. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. How do y'all decide what your set list is going to be? 
Well, that was kind of easy because most of the songs, you know, you know you want to do most of the hits. And right. we did verses together. Are y'all together. doing medleys? Well, no. Some Escape and SWV, yeah. we, our show is combined. So they'll oh. do like a song, we come, come back to a song, the they'll do two, peaceful. we'll yeah. do two, yeah. they'll do three, we do three. You know, it'll just Synergy. go back and forth and then some we're going to sing together. So it's going to be a really cool performance because you'll you'll never see yeah. it happen again. What song y'all do together? We ain't no. going to tell you. We no, ain't we're going to bring in... What? Well, one song is a song that we already got. I we are the world. And we got two songs. <laughs> we got two songs that we're going to come see? together and do a little one, two together. I yeah. get so weak and y'all need to give me some we understanding. Ain't gonna tell you you got to come see it. You got to come see it. It's going to be great. Like, it's cool to be able to have another group that we started in the industry with. And they, they was doing their big things back then, and yeah. so were we. And it's like to be able 30 years later to headline a tour, like we're going to make this memorable. Yeah. yeah. You know? So all the Escape fans, will they won't be you know mad because y'all didn't do something. Uh-uh. You mean do what? what? Uh, you know, because you know, they got certain songs they want to hear. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I, here's the thing. I think that um, we're going to do all the hits, of course, most of them. I think, I think all we're the doing hits. all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but... A lot of fans always ask for songs that we don't do that wasn't a single. You know what I'm saying? And a lot like of times, what? I mean, just all kinds of songs. They have In the Rain, they be want to hear. They be want to hear Hold On. They Work wanna Me hear. Slow. It's Work Me Slow. It's a lot of songs that they want to hear that we don't do because of timing or whatever else. Mm-hmm. But we're going to try to give them at least one of those fan favorites that okay. they ask for. Oh, y'all mm-hmm. do a meet and greet like uh, Chris Brown? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, like Chris Brown. I don't know. Brown. Like, I mean, I Chris is charging. Gonna, that boy is charging. Can't they say you yeah. be picking people up. I ain't saying you're going to be like, you know, bouncing them <laughs> on your leg. You know right. what I'm saying? But like, the, the meet and greets for like a thousand dollars, they more than the ticket prices. I mean, y'all's fans Ours are like that. isn't that high, like, but no. we are going to do a meet and greet. And... But y'all ain't charging nobody. I mean, we it's going to be more than your ticket price, <laughs> but it's not going to be like about, not like that. Like, it's not going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of people that's already, you know, been getting meet and greet tickets, but I always tell people, if you really want to get the experience meeting the people, you know, face to face, I always suggest do the meet and greet. It's always going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to be gripping on your butt and, you know, rubbing my butt on you. I don't you, know, man. Man, man, man. like to grab a little ass. Like, the dungeon thing you be doing. <laughs> the dungeon thing. The dungeon thing you be doing. You have some candy coated nights. They night. want me to. Some, how about that? They want me to, yes. Some, they want may, me to. Some candy coated night first. cookies. She say, may I touch your ass first? Oh, <laughs> right. she's talking about, she talking about the dungeon show. Yeah, the dungeon. Okay, well, yeah. All right. See, you heard it here first. I'm not If I'm you not, ask I'm nicely, candy, may you if touch you my nice. sweet, sweet cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets are available at LiveNation.com. Y'all give it up for Escape. What time? time. <laughs>